Hey guys, this is a quick video explaining CSS clear fix. Alright, so this is going to be our end result. You want to have one div which contains two other divs which are going to be floating. So one div containing two other divs, um, they're both going to be 100 pixels in width and height, and they're each going to be floating one on the left and one on the right. So, alright, let's hop into our HTML and have a look. So, you're going to start with our body tag. Um, alright, so this body tag is going to contain one div called a wrapper. So, it's going to have the class wrapper. And this div is going to contain your two other divs called box left and box right. Alright, so that's fairly standard. Let's have a look at our CSS. Going to start with our wrapper, it's going to have the background color green and a little bit of padding just to make things a little bit easier on the eyes. Alright, let's uh, look at our other two divs which are going to be inside the other div. Um, they're going to have a, a lighter background color um, so you can tell it, tell it apart from the bigger div. And the display is going to be an inline block, so your blocks appear next to each other and they're going to have their widths and heights at 100 pixels. Alright, so if we run this, we're going to see the following result, which is close to what we want. We want the box on the right to be floating on the right. So let's try and float our elements. So we're going to go back into our CSS. Um, change our box left to float on the left and do the same thing on the box right with float on the right. So if you actually run this you're going to see a strange result which ends up looking a little bit like this. So the wrapper in the background is actually going to lose its height. So to understand what's going on we're going to have to kind of visualize this in like, 3D space. So imagine your two divs at the front are actually going to start floating, like literally, and so the div at the back isn't going to be able to look at the floating elements anymore, so it can't actually match their heights. So it's just going to collapse and look kind of weird. So how are we going to fix this is by using clear fix. Um, so we're going to go in our HTML and change our div to have not only the class wrapper but also the class clear fix. So we have to add this class in our CSS. It's going to look like this. Um, I'll go over it line by line. So first we're going to select our clear fix, but we're going to use the selector after. So this is going to allow us to add elements to um, clear fix classes. So it's going to add an element right in here since there's nothing else to add it behind. We're just going to add it at the start. We're going to add an invisible element so it's going to just be an empty character. It's going to be displayed as a block because we want it to um, align vertically. So it's going to be an empty character, an invisible empty character um, that's going to have this. So this is where the actual magic happens. Um, you're going to have a clear boat. So this tells your element you can't have any floating elements um, on your side. So when you say clear boat, it's going to be it's going to check both float left and float right for any floating elements. And if there are floating elements, it's going to push your element down. So it's going to check both of these boxes. Um, and it's going to push your element all the way down. Because until it can't find any floating elements in the side anymore. And it's going to make your div look like this. Which is what we want to have. Right. So to kind of visualize this a little bit better. We're going to make our invisible element um, actually we'll give it a background color 
So if we give it a background color red, we're going to see it actually shows it over here, which um, is where you expect it to be. So it's going to actually give your div the proper height it needs, even if you have floating elements. So yeah, that's kind of how Clearfix works. Thanks for watching. I hope this solved any questions you have about this. And if you have any more, you can always post them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Alright, bye.